All right, guys, our train has pulled up here. We are headed on the Glacier Discovery from Anchorage down to Whittier and back. In today's video, we hop on the Glacier Discovery, where we take off from the largest city in the state and head over to the city known for most of its inhabitants living in one building. Along the route, we see some of the most spectacular sights from panoramic vistas to lush marshlands. We have a brief stop in the resort town of Girdwood before arriving to the only tunnel or road that connects Whittier to the rest of the state. Upon arrival in Whittier, we'll board a glacier cruise around Prince William Sound to pass the time before we hop on the train and head right back to Anchorage. We start our day by boarding the train about 30 minutes early. We quickly find our seats in adventure class and they are upstairs and we have a table all to ourselves. We also discover that we have incredible views from our seats and after a bit, we do decide to grab a little snack from the cafe downstairs. We enjoy this as we travel along this gorgeous route. There are lots of food and beverage options at the snack bar. You can enjoy your purchase in your seat or you can sit in the cafe area. Right now I'm going to give you a quick look at what our seat area looks like. I'll stop off at the snack bar and show you a little bit around there and I'll also show you around the bathroom before we get back to these gorgeous views. We bought our tickets about three months in advance. You don't get to pick your own seats. They do assign them randomly to you, but 
You may be able to call ahead to see where your seats are beforehand. We were very happy with the choice they made for us. We did pay $228 for the round trip from and to Anchorage for the two of us. I'm gonna share these gorgeous views with you. Enjoy these for a few moments, and then I'll be back with a little bit more information. All right, guys, when we arrive to the tunnel at Whittier, we must wait our turn to go into the tunnel. The tunnel is shared by the train and also by automobiles. There is a timed system in place to avoid any issues between the two. You will see cars as you pull up to the tunnel lined up in the parking lot waiting for the signal that it is safe to enter the tunnel. Now, once we do arrive in Whittier, we hop off the train and onto a boat. And as you can see, Whittier is now a cruise ship dock. And in season, many large cruise ships can be seen here. Many of the cruise ship companies have their own train cars that tag along on the Alaska Railroad, Railroad routes, and they use them for their excursions. You'll see the cars are marked with the cruise lines on the outside, either Holland America or Princess or whichever cruise line is tagging along. Today we are taking a 26 Glacier cruise on board a very unique ship with a patriotic history the bravest. It was named because of its use before it became a Phillips Cruise and Tours boat. Now this boat was used as a ferry in New York City and it was famous for ferrying hundreds of New Yorkers to safety on 9-11. The ship was later taken out of commission and it was bought by Phillips Cruise and Tours and they restored it and gave it a name worthy of its history. Now, for the cruise portion, we paid just over $400 for the five-hour cruise, which did include lunch as well as unlimited water and coffee. Now, there is also a bar and a snack bar on board 
if you want to buy other drinks or snacks along the way. About an hour into the cruise, you will be served lunch, which is your choice between vegetarian chili or salmon chowder. You do get also some crackers with that, as well as a dessert. You make your choice of meal when you purchase your ticket. We purchased our train journey and our cruise separately, but you can book the package through Alaska Railroad for the train and the cruise, or you can purchase the combo from Phillips Cruises on their website. Once our cruise begins, we are free to move around the vessel. Our cruise takes us 140 miles around Prince William Sound. We'll view Esther Passage, College Fjords, and encounter much wildlife on our trip today. We get to see stellar sea lions lazing on the buoys, dolls porpoises racing alongside us, mountain goats in the distance, a very camera-shy humpback whale, which we'll try to point out to you, a pod of orcas, sea otters, as well as black-legged kittiwaks. Unfortunately, we did not spot Sasquatch, lol. <laughs> so here are a few more of the great views that we encountered on this trip.
One of the most breathtaking views was our visit to Surprise Glacier. This shot just does not even begin to do it justice. Take a look around here. There was quite a bit uh, of activity here from the sea otters, little families in this area, but the star of the show were the chunks of the ice in the water as well as the glacier itself. Before we arrive back to dock, we stop off at the Kittiwak Rookery where we enjoy views of the waterfalls with all the birds flying all around us. After the cruise is over, it's time to head back to the train and we make our way back to Anchorage. So there is still much to see, don't go yet. Lots to see, including sunset-like views from the train. I say sunset-like because the sun does not fully set this time of the year until well after midnight uh, in Alaska. So um, it looks like it's going to set, but it's not. Uh, usually you'll see that around seven or so but the sun is not actually set. It's still pretty bright out until about 11.30, close to midnight when the sun actually starts to set. On the way back, we do decide to grab a snack in the cafe. We split a pizza and a corn dog to hold us over until we can grab some dinner back in Anchorage. Enjoy some more of these views that we enjoyed on our way back to Anchorage.
guys thank you so much for watching we hope that you enjoyed this rail and cruise journey with us in alaska do not forget to subscribe to the channel give us a comment down below give us a like and we hope to see you guys on the rails